Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a good day or good morning. In this video, I want to show you um, in HTMLs, I want to show you uh, what each setting or excuse me, which each heading looks like and which heading um, has the highest prominence. So um, first things first, we want to start a new file or open a new file. We want to hit the exclamation point. And we want to hit tab. This is how we um, set up our HTML document. We will title this headings, or just put heading. Okay, in the body tag, we're going to put H1. This is your first heading. This one is the most important heading. H2, H3, H4, H5. Whoop. Remember, we have to put these. Um, we have to put the headings in the <clears throat> angled brackets. H5. And H6. Also, just a quick reminder, I'm using brackets uh, code editor, editor as my um, editing environment. Okay. So in HTML, you're only allowed to have six headings. Obviously, you're not going to have them all grouped together. This is simply meant for explanation. So the first one we will say hello. The second one we will say hello. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth. Six. Remember to update your um, to update your doc type or to update the uh, the work you're doing. You need to hit File Save, and then on the right hand side, up in the right hand corner, you will see a lightning bolt. This is your Live Preview button. You click this, and here you go. As you can see. Our first heading, H1, is the biggest one, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. H6 will always be the smallest heading. Okay. In this video, I'll also show you how to customize your heading. We'll, we'll mess around with some of the features on CSS. Remember... When using CSS, you have to link your CSS page to your HTML page. We will save this as file CSS or, or heading CSS, excuse me. Let's see. Now I'm saving all my stuff in a file called CSS images. I have this um, set up from a while ago. To be honest with you, I need to go through and clean it up a little bit because this is the most efficient way uh, how I have everything packaged up. Because I, I even have some HTML files in here which I need to clean up. And we will title this heading dot CSS. Hit save. Okay. First things first, I, I've said this in one of my, or in some of my other videos, we have to link the CSS file to this HTML page or it will not work. So you want to hit the link button or you want to type out link and then hit tab. Right here where you see herf, you're going uh, in between the quotation marks, you're going to type in heading, and it pops up .css. 
You want to hit file, save, and now your CSS page and your HTML, HTML page is connected. Now, in order to do work or to change the, um, or to add style and add more different, different designs, you need to copy the, um, the part that you're working. And for example, we're not going to do body. We're going to do each individual, individual H, um, heading tag, and we're going to customize it to how we want it to be. So we'll start off with H1. So you're going to type up H1. You're going to use, uh, curly brackets. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a different font. So you're going to type font, click on it. Why is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Font family. Click on font family. And these are the fonts that I have set up. Nothing crazy, but we'll do mono space. Remember, this colon connects these two together. Like I said before in an earlier video, it's almost like a dictionary, um, like key value pairs, like font family is the key. And then here's the value, mono space. You hit semicolon to end that block right there, meaning that nothing else is going to be added to that section, the font family section. Then you're going to hit enter. Now we're going to change the color. Hit color. And we are going to go with a fire brick semicolon. Okay. We'll uh, leave that for the H1 right there. So we'll hit file, save, go to heading.html, hit the lightning bolt, and boom. You see how the font has changed. And now uh, the color has changed. Other things you can do, for example, I've showed you this before, but it's always good to recap. I believe repetitive teaching is the best way to get it um, programmed into your brain. We're going to change the background color. Background color, we will go with a dim gray semicolon. File, save. Oh. oh yeah, I wanted to tell you something too. If you hit the lightning bolt when you're in the CSS file, it will not work. It'll say open an HTML file or make sure there is an index. HTML, HTML file in your project in order to launch. Live preview for more information. See troubleshooting live preview connection error. So you always want to make sure you go back to the HTML file. Hit file save and then hit the lightning bolt. And as you can see, we now have we have the name or excuse me, we have hello with the font mono space with the background gray. So